Hello, my name is Raido Post, and I'm showing you how you can integrate Colopox into your Moodle e-learning environment. You probably know what Colopox is. It allows you to present your links and materials in a more visual way. When you look at the Colopox website, you can see different themas, for example, Timo 3. And when I click on a link, then it opens up and everything else is faded out. I close it. And if you want to integrate it into your Moodle e-learning environment, you have basically different ways to do it. For example, you can add that Colopox code onto your every page, and you probably need to copy script files into FTP or somewhere else, and then you call that script every time or on each page. I will show you how you can integrate Colopox code into Moodle team so that everybody can use it. And what does it mean when you activate it? For example, I have a sample page here. I will open up. And when I click on a picture, then it opens up using Colopox. And one picture can be grouped with the others or just a separate picture. So here we see a group of pictures. Or I can create also a slide show. Clicking on one image, it starts to play other images too. I can close it again. And for example, I can also present videos in that fashion, for example, YouTube. Or video from Vimeo. Moodle is a free online learning management system. Or I can add some additional information into some specific word. For example, I have a separate explanation with the word inch. I click on it and it shows me additional information. I can click read more and it opens up Wikipedia web page, all at the same color box window. So there are different ways how to present your links, pictures, materials using Colorbox. And all the parameters are described Colorbox web page. But now I will show you how you can integrate it into Moodle e-learning environment. So first of all, I need to download Colorbox code. So jackalmore.com Colorbox is a web address. Current version 1.3, click on it and download it onto your desktop. Save. I minimize this window and I have opened up Moodle team catalog. It's quite basic team called formal white. Yes, you are correct. I'm applying Colorbox functionality into one specific team. So if you want to add it to other teams as well, you have to do it just as I do with one particular team. I extract my code that I downloaded. I will open up it and then let's see what's inside. Actually, you can see different examples also in this package. The same example was also on a website. And most important files, what I need, are JavaScript, jQuery, Colorbox, Min. Also, from one particular example catalog, I need to copy Colorbox. It describes the style, so I can change it or use some ready-made. And I also do need images that are used with Colorbox. So let's start to copy those files. First of all, I need to create a separate subcatalog into my formal white directory and I will call it JavaScript. Into that catalog I will copy this jQuery color box, copy here. As you see you do have two different versions. This one with the ending min, min, is a light white one so you don't have in that file additional comments and it's easier to load into your web page. Then I need to copy also my style that defines how my color box looks like. I can pick one of those that I have downloaded, Colorbox CSS, and it will go into style subdirectory. I will copy it here, copy. And I also need pictures, images. I will copy those as well, and I will put those into Pix catalog. And for simplicity, I rename it as Colorbox. In this catalog, I do have two different pictures, controls and loading. Now the next phase is to edit some of the files I have copied here. I will start with config file. You can edit it also in some text editor. I use Dreamweaver here. And when I scroll down, I will see a section team JavaScripts. I need to tell that I have additional JavaScript. I will take away a comment and say that my additional file 
is named as jQuery dot colorbox minus min. And I don't need to add file type, just the file name. This file has to be in JavaScript directory, otherwise Moodle doesn't know it. I need to do a second change also. It's in a section sheets array. Because I use different styling, I need to add that styling also. And that was called color box. Depending on which theme you are changing, you might have here one or more styles. You just add one more and it is called color box because that was the name we copied. I can save now this file and close it. Now next change will be in my style directory. I do have here color box CSS file. I will open it and I need to change references to my images. I do have four different rows. I use controls three times and loading one time. And I change it just like so, two brackets, pick team, and now sub directory, color box and controls. I don't need to have that file type again and two brackets again. So this reference tells to Moodle that this picture is in a team subdirectory pick and from there once again subdirectory called color box. As I use it in three different places I can copy it and once more but I have to do a little change here instead of controls here we use loading and again I delete this file type just brackets. Okay this change is now good. I have done that change. I can save it, close it. And one last thing that I need to do in my team directory is adding a code that tells how Colorbox is used in my team. And I can start again from the file I downloaded from Colorbox website. I will open up once again my Dreamweaver and I will just open index HTML file here. I will concentrate on this section here because this is a major part how Colorbox is used on my page. I don't need actually this first part. I can delete it. I also don't need the last part of this file. Again I delete it. Now as jQuery file is in my subdirectory, I don't need it here. But as you see I use a script calling from different file server, not from my Moodle, and it has to be here because jQuery should be loaded before I can use Colorbox plugin. I will just simplify this code a little bit so it looks better and can be read more easily. I also just take out those comments and make my code light white. Also this part is not important. I will change now also in this section where I have click. This will define how my additional small color box window looks like and what is a background color of the button. I will show it later on. I use here color 090 and probably this text field is just a smiley face. Okay, now I will do some changes in that code because I would like to have some additional possibilities how I can change links. Those changes are hard-coded, meaning that user can pick just one or the other and uh, he or she should know what names I use here. So I will start adding one more row, just not group one, but um, paste, and I will delete that additional parameter, leaving it empty, and I use here name no group. I will explain it later on also, but it means that I can add at the same page different pictures into separate groups. So they will be open one by one. If I want to group those, I use styling group one. I will change that name, maybe just fade one, and this one maybe also fade one. This is probably more easily understood if I use fixed one because it uses fixed parameters defining color box window size depending on screen resolution and this row defines slideshow I use naming show one and maybe just one more so I will copy it and paste I will call it show two also here show two here show one and I will add some additional parameters I want to have also possibilities that, again, depending on screen resolution, my pictures 
that I use in slideshow will be resized into smaller ones. And all those parameters can be looked up from Colopox website. Max width, for example, 1000 pixels and max height, perhaps 700 pixels. I will check that everything is correct. I think that it is. So I will save it now, but using different name, save as onto my desktop, saving it as PHP and naming it just as Colorbox. Save. Update links. No, I will close this file and the other one also. And now I will copy this Colorbox into my Moodle team catalog. And this one should be in layout directory. Copy here. The last change I need to do in my code is changing front page and general. I will open up and I will look for head section and adding just one additional row so that also my Colorbox file will be included. Include Colorbox and I will copy that row because just the same I will do in another file. I will save it and close it and now I will open general. Again I will look for head section just before output row I will paste previously made row and again saving it. And because Colorbox PHP is at the same directory that is why I can so easily write that additional code and close it. I have done major part of code changes. The next thing is that I need to delete my team cache so that new features get available. I will open up my model once again and I need to delete team cache. I will do it site administration, appearance, teams and team selector. I will click on a button clear team caches and that's it. I have successfully integrated Colorbox into my Moodle team. So when I go back, once again, I can open up my sample page. And this time, this has no functionality yet. So I will show you how you can add Colorbox functionality. So sample page, and I will update it. I will go full screen mode. I have here the same information, but those links are currently opening just at the same window or in different window, not using Colorbox. When I want to add Colorbox functionality, then I will just change or edit link parameter. I will pick a picture, insert edit link, going on to advanced tab and adding on row classes Colorbox class name that I predefined in my Colorbox PHP file. So for example, in here, I do want to have the same group. So group one update and that's it. Next picture, I will edit again, advanced group one, same group update. And when I want to have different groupings, I will show it here, advanced, no group update. And this picture, edit link, advanced, no group update. With slideshow, just as easy as that, I will pick one link, edit it and add show one update. Remember that this one will show full size images. If I do want to have reduced size images, then I can use show two, yes. But now show one, update and again third image, insert add link, advanced and show one, update. And with other links, just as same, for example, I have here a link somewhere else into Wikipedia article, I will edit it. And because it is a web page, I use here class name called iframe. Again, this name was defined in my PHP file. So user should know what name he or she can use. Update. And you also see some videos. For example, this video is in YouTube. I will edit it, advanced, and adding a class, YouTube, update, with video in Vimeo, edit, advanced, classes, Vimeo, update. And one more thing, how you can do that additional information with some word, for example, inch. First of all, you need to ensure that you have additional information written into HTML code. And I have a snapshot of that hidden section. This hidden section should be also in your HTML code. This one is just uh, shows how it looks like. But when I open up my HTML view, and when I scroll down, I will see that I have the same information here. It is so-called hidden section. You can have as many as you like those sections. And each section has some kind of name that can be linked 
this one is called inch and I also have that additional information that's normally just a few words or one sentence and uh, if a user wants to read more then you can add additional link into that section. This code again can be copied directly from Colorbox examples. I also can have that button name redefined. For example, I will use here word Heureka and I will update it. Now, if I want to show that additional information with some word, I will add a link to that word. You can see that I have already a link defined, but to show how to do it from the beginning, I will delete that link. And uh, this is just in another color, that's fine. I will pick the word and insert edit link. Now, as this information is at the same page, but it's hidden, then I can use just a link as simple as that, name, inch, and then advanced tab, I use class called inline. This name is again defined in my team code that I did previously. I will insert it and I will do just the same with other words that actually links the same information. I will edit it. I have here already a link defined, advanced, and classes inline update. And here once more, edit link, advanced, and inline update. Now I can see what my page will look like using Colorbox. I will minimize this window and just save and display. If I click now on a picture, that's in the first row, because those two pictures uses the same class called group one, if I click on one of them, I can see that I can switch in between those using buttons. I can close that window. When I want to have two different groups, then I add a tag that I was calling no group. So if I click on that picture, it's just one picture. They both have the same class, but because of there are no additional parameters, those pictures are shown one by one. Slideshow. I can see full images and predefined timing that can be changed using additional parameter. But again, this parameter is hard coded. Now with videos, I can click on YouTube video. I can watch it full screen using full screen option. The same is true with Vimeo. Click on it and it will show it in Colorbox window, I will close it. And with additional information with those words, I can click on it, I see additional information. I can then click on the button or read more. If I click read more, I can see additional information in iframe. But if I click on name again, and I will click on button, I will say that I understood, I caught it, that information. And I will see that smiley face again when I open up the same small window that includes the same information, of course. So for example, in here, clicking again, and I see a smiley face, meaning that I have been here already. That's about Colorbox integrated into Moodle team. You should know that currently we activated it only in one team. And if you want to activate it also in other teams, you should do the same with those additional teams. But I think that um, you actually do need to do it just in those teams that are used most widely at your server. You can also inform users that only those particular teams are using Colorbox functionality. And of course, you should show those names that are available and can be used as classes, as additional parameter in your links. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you soon.